It's now clear how often Philip Garrido and his wife Nancy fooled police and parole officers who again and again failed to see the tents and sheds of a backyard prison, leaving J.C. Dugard captive for 18 years. Garrido was apparently so confident he took J.C. out of the compound to help in his printing business. A real estate agent recognized her as the young woman who worked with Garrido. Uh, yes, that's, uh, that's no doubt. There were warning signs about Garrido, sentenced to 50 years for kidnap and rape, but paroled after just 10. Even Garrido's father saw him as deeply troubled, blaming a head injury and drug use. He's just crazy. He's out of his head. When a neighbor complained about what was happening in Garrido's backyard, the deputy who responded never looked behind the house. Not until Garrido showed up in Berkeley with the two girls he fathered with J.C., did a law enforcement officer become suspicious. The one thing that, to point out that we noticed right away is the coloring of these two little girls. They were extremely pale. That started the unraveling of a long mystery, freedom for J.C., but not the end of her ordeal. And it takes much longer to fix a person than to ruin a person. You can ruin a person in a half an hour. She had 18 years of it. Looking back, the missed opportunities to discover this secret backyard prison make the tragic story of J.C. Dugard's kidnapping all the more disturbing. John Blackstone, CBS News, Antioch, California.